Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm about to go sit in my car to make the rest of this video, but I wanted to show off my outfit. <laughs> but no, yeah. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Bangers. <laughs> That's what my buddy Jake would say. Alright, time to go back to my car. Way! <laughs> Trips. <laughs> I just did that to scare people. Dude, that leaf fell right in my car seat. Ah! Alright. Anyway. I knew I was going to do that. Hang on. I only got about 15 minutes to make this video before the audio cuts out. So I got to be quick and nimble. Nimble. Nimble, I say. I'm fully detected. No. Okay. <laughs> now I'm back. Alright, so first off. Shout out to uh, Bobby Reut for um, doing the Reut thing and commenting below in the comment section below. And uh, I really appreciate that. Now, a lot of people, um, a lot of people from my past know who I am or thought they knew who I am. And now I'm changing. I'm killing off my old self and regrowing from the ashes over and over again and leveling it up in the game of life at such a rate that most of them are jealous and they don't want to comment. <laughs> anyway, so I want to. Throw some appreciation to you, Bobby. I do appreciate you appreciating. That'll do better for you in your life uh, when you appreciate other people for whatever reasons. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Anyway, so um, I only got a few minutes, like I said, to tell a story. So this kind of has to do, well, with um, that, actually, ironically. It has to do with this. <laughs> ironically, I'm actually matching this rock right now, which I didn't even think about. I'm actually matching the vibe of this rock, colors and all. But anyway, uh, this says, speak the truth, even if your voice shakes. I got a job about a month ago at McDick's. When I got the job, I was hired by a woman named Robin, by, by Red Robin. I got hired by Red Robin to work at McDonald's. And on the first day I worked, I realized she was a narcissist. I know, because she tried to put me in the bitch box. She did that thing where she's like, oh, you're new to this job. Let me tell you how it is, through example which is say some of the most evil, dark, cold-hearted, cut your throat, watch you bleed out, laugh about it, shit. And I didn't. I fucking spoke up. And I, my voice didn't shake, but my hands did. Like, she said some shit, you know, kind of like if you were walking down the street and six guys jump you, but they didn't have to jump you yet. They just make fun of you. And it's kind of like, oh, if I speak up right now, I'm probably going to get ass raped and beat up in this alley. It was one of those kind of vibe moments. I mean, I'm at a job, but the whole mind illusion of, oh, she's the boss. She just hired me all this stuff. I was like, fuck all that shit. I don't give a fuck at all. And I spoke my truth. My hands shook. And I got that vibe out. Fuck you, bitch. I didn't say it like that, though. I said it calmly. And I laughed in her face and was like, mind games, too. And she's like, oh, I don't like you at all. <laughs> and then for the last month. Uh, she tried one other time to cut my cut me down, and I said, "Are we being a narcissist again, Robin?" And I kind of like checked her on the spot. And since that day, she tried giving me drinks and free mocha frappes out of the kindness of her. Well, she don't have that, so she can't do that. <laughs> she don't have her heart. <laughs> and all this other fake person shit. And I'm just gonna get to it. Point is, it, it was a Virgo full moon, just recently. Full moons manifest the sum total of what you've been putting in. Not the total of it, but... And I'm not trying to get into the, all the aspects of how that works. Either you're here and you understand astrology or you're not. Never let it control your life. You just keep putting out amazingly strong vibes all day. You'll just notice the phenomena, if you choose to, that on full moons, within two and a half days of a full moon, in that ballpark, everybody's lives will pour out that of which they put in. And that's why it's important to speak the truth, even if your voice shakes, because it's better to stay in your truth and to be better, better to stay in your vibe and manifest and reap what you sow. So this bitch has worked at this job for a year. When I got the job, I realized everyone around me is a bitch. Not like that, but everybody around me is the people who stayed. The people that were too positive to be lowered left, but I'm a demon hunter. <laughs> so I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I know exactly why I got this job. I know exactly why I got this job. I got this job. I set the intention. I got this job to make this bitch's life hell and to free all these souls. I said that when I got this job. 
That's exactly what I said. And I went in every day and I kept pumping it out, pumping it out, pumping it out. Good vibes. Nonstop. As best as I could. So, you know, I have a couple people at my job. I'm not even going to get into it. There's a couple of dark people at my job. But I don't care. And so, <laughs> and so funny that Bobby Wright commented below on the comment section below because a person came in that vibrated at my level. His name is Bobby and he got a job and we started playing music on the back line. And due to the fact that my narcissist friend, we call her my best, everybody at my job calls her my best friend because they just know I don't like her. <laughs> we clutch it. Your best friend's coming to work at seven. It's like, oh, yay, Robin. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we play music, all kinds of music you can imagine, full volume. It's been amazing. Every day we're at our job, doing the job, rocking it. Me and this dude named Bobby. And we call him Ricky Bobby. <laughs> call him old Ricky Bobby. And um, it's just been amazing. And the full moon finally happened. And guess what? Guess who's getting fired? <laughs> Robin, bye. Have a good one. It's been so fun. And I can sit here and explain all the how things happen. She said, he said, she said, this happened, that happened. She's in the parking lot one minute. She comes back in, confronts somebody. Da, 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 da. At the end of the day, the supervisor was notified by a bunch of people that never stood up to her. They all stood up to her this time. And I wasn't around, but I woke up that morning going to work and I felt different, like a shift had occurred. And I go in and then I hear the good news. They've been dealing with this bitch for a year, but they finally said enough's enough. And I know, I don't need credit. I know. I came in here. I put a spotlight on this bitch. I said, this bitch is a narcissist. People are like, what's a narcissist? And they all started looking up the word and the definition. And then they were like, yeah, that's exactly what this chick is. She's by definition. And the same person who I described that definition was the one that started the chain reaction that caused her to get fired. So she's fired. <laughs> I own the store now. <laughs> it's just my McDonald's. <laughs> ah! So it's been amazing. I've been I've been enjoying. The, oh, it's so much stuff going on. You have no idea. I don't have time to describe it all. I want to say one more thing before the time runs out. Um, because there's so much stuff. But the point is, my job's looking better. I'm loving my job. I'm making my money. The day goes by great. I got friends. I'm going go to the Lions Golden Cafe soon. We're going to have a big old party event with everybody that I work with. It all worked out great. Like, it just works out great. I, I'm loving I'm doing my laundry right now. Clean and fresh. And while I'm doing my laundry, let me rephrase that. I was sitting parked playing Hades on my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I'm just loving it. Loving my life. 808 on the phone. Loving my life. I can't even get into it all, how much amazing it is. Anyway, so point is, um, I have a feeling to go clean out my car. Now. I just died in the video game, which is great. This is a good time to go. So I put the game away. I get in my car, and I <laughs> all the way to... Um, to where to, to vacuum it out. I know where the vacuum place is, so I go to vacuum my car out. While I'm driving, I'm at an intersection. There is a broke down red car in the middle of the intersection. When I start driving past them, I notice there's a bunch of these, whole box of soda. That's what I'm drinking right now. 848 on the phone when I say that. <laughs> and so I am looking at the manifestations. Isn't it odd that there's this broke down car and a whole box of soda all in the same location that had nothing to do with each other? And the truck in front of me ran over one of the cans of soda. And when I was driving around the broke down car, I was going to ask him if he needed help. But when I saw the can explode, I laughed. And then that guy said, hey, sir, could you help me <laughs> push my car? So he, he called out to me anyway. So I pulled over. He was already pushing the car. By the time I came over, I barely helped anyway, but I helped push him to, to the gas station across the street. He said, it's so odd that um, my this car has like 20,000 miles on it and broke down, and here I am. Driving this piece of shit. <laughs> and it's got like 200,000 miles. Red meets blue, yin and yang. You see what I'm saying? So uh, it's funny because he's got the brand new car broke down, da, da 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 And, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, and I'm so used to this. This is my life every day. I'm so used to this. So it's like, yeah, I got it. I'm meant to be here.